Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Dr. Bree Conklin, Clinical Manager with Harmony's uh, Family Center, and we are going to take a look at a wonderful children's book, The Rhino Who Swallowed a Storm. Um, and the focus of it really is to help um, give some context to when big scary things happen. Um, one of the greatest challenges for parents is to really help put tragic events such as the scary things that are going on with the coronavirus um, into context for children in such a way that they learn how to live um, and better understand when bad things happen um, to good people. So um, I hope that you guys enjoy this book. After I finish reading it, um, I, there are some questions for dialogue um, to have some discussion with your children. So I hope that those questions really spark some good conversation for you guys. Okay, so the rhino who swallowed a storm. In the middle of the morning, Mika Mouse trembled under her blanket. A storm boomed outside her window. Rain crashed against the glass. Wind rattled the shutters. More than anything else, Mika was afraid of storms. A year before, a powerful hurricane had destroyed her home. I'm scared, Papa, she said. We are safe, Mika. This storm will pass soon, said Papa. Would you like me to read you a story? I know just the one to help you feel better. Mika loved books and Papa's gentle voice soothed in a way that made her forget all about the thunder. Papa opened the book and began. Long, long ago, before there were words, animals roamed in bountiful herds. Little rhinoceros lived happy and free exploring mountains and meadows, rivers and trees. His world was delightful and chock full of magic until out of the blue, the magic turned tragic. A storm swept through the valley, turning bright sky to black. A flash flood came raging, no time to react. Lost in the thundering, no time for wondering. Chaos and lightning, fury so frightening. Earth quaking, him shaking, water rumbling, him tumbling, raggedy jaggedy, senseless calamity. The storms crashed through his world and tore it apart and took everything dear to his heart. Rhino was stunned by the terrible scene, death and destruction all through the ravine. Enraged by the pain of such a great loss, Rhino acted without a thought to the cost. Rhino looked at his world all tattered and torn, stood out on the ledge and swallowed the storm. Inside his belly, he felt the storm growing. Inside his, inside his head, he heard howling and blowing. Like a tornado, he spun as the storm raged inside, growing bigger and bigger and wider than wide. When he finally stopped, when he regained control, he was at the very bottom of a very deep hole. What to do, Rhino worried as rain dripped down his face. I'm lost and I'm lonely and in such a dark place. At just the right moment to comfort and guide him, a spider dropped down and dangled beside him. The world up above is shattered and gray, but it's where you belong, so you must find a way. To let the storm out and move through your sorrow, you'll find many helpers on your road to tomorrow. Oh, but that hole was dreadfully deep and the walls all around him were slippery steep. Rhino tried to climb out but was losing all hope when Kangaroo heard him and threw down a rope. Though Rhino was heavy from the weight of the storm, they towed him right up, got him safe, dry, and warm. We're strong and steady and always ready. When danger strikes, we hop to it. Fire or flood, snow or mud, when help is needed, we'll pull you through it. Watching those heroes do what they did best gave Rhino the strength to set off on his quest. The storm he was clutching made him buzzy and blurry. It kept his brain foggy and filled him with worry. Where do I go? What do I do? How will I ever make it through? After every dark night, there comes a new day. Be kind, do your best, and you'll find a way. Up comes the sun, there are steps to complete. There isn't a map, just follow your feet. Rhino followed his feet to a wobbling spot where he plopped on a rock and had a deep thought. I'm tired of caging the wind and the rain. 
exhausting from holding this anger and pain. We're all on this earth to learn and to grow. A wise old tortoise chimed in from below. Allowing yourself to start feeling your feelings is the very first step on the journey toward healing. It doesn't much matter if you're fast or you're slow. If you want to move forward, just trust and let go. Rhino shook and shimmied and stomped in the muck. And just as he hoped, that storm came unstuck. At first, one little raindrop leaked out of his eye. Then the rhino let go and had a good cry. His tears formed a river that flowed to the sea where a pod of whales swam happy and free. I do feel better, Rhino thought as he drifted. Then up swam a whale and Rhino was lifted. If you ever feel blue, the whale said with a spout, remember to breathe. Breathe in and breathe out. Sing your own song and take it deep, deep, deep. Then rise above with a joyful leap. As he floated home on a gentle wave, Rhino felt calm and strong and brave. And he looked at his world through eyes filled with love. He thanked the kind spider and the brave kangaroo and all of the others who'd helped him through. He was glad to know that if he had ever lost hope, they'd lend him a hand or throw him a rope. He had journeyed his journey a very long way to find the light in a world turned gray. He swallowed a storm with no thought to the cost. He'd felt all alone, he'd been tumbled and tossed. Life would bring changes, beginnings and ends, but he had faith in himself and faith in his friends. As they curled up together, he felt